Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. There we go. I figured out how to turn the camera around the other direction. So, this is like Laura Vitali. It was kind of haphazard yesterday. I just we quickly grabbed things and threw them in the pot. So today I'm a little more organized. Two cups of beef broth, the frozen peas are out, a little bit of flour. These are, you notice, I did not chop the hell out of these. These are, are uh, cut with a knife and big, big pieces because they're not going to be going into those tiny little containers. Uh, this is the uh, parsley, rosemary, and thyme. Fresh cut, and boy is it aromatic. This is the wine. Uh, the, it is a Freak Show uh, Red Cabernet. And it's been out uh, breathing out here like wine's supposed to do. My new knives are awesome. Um, really sharp. Uh, got the little board out. I'm going to go ahead and make a big pie. Uh, I've got a nice big uh, white, you know, like a pie pan. I've got a couple and some trays. and So uh, I'll probably have some that I'll put in little containers to take to work. And then one great big one that I'll... I'll put the uh, puff pastry on. Puff pastry is already out and getting a little, yeah, look, see, it's a little compliant already. It's been sitting out a little while. A lot of good, quite a, what, how much is this? I don't know, it's a lot. More, yeah, two and a half pounds. So that's a fairly, that's not the pound of meat there. Got the olive oil and uh, the pans cleaned up just great last wow. night really easily and then they say you just uh, to condition them you just oil them and so I went ahead and I was gonna dump the olive oil and smear out in there with a the paper towel and then I remembered I had this uh, quick and easy cooking spray which is an olive oil based and I just whoosh, squished it in there and swished it around same on our big pot which is, which is ready to go so I think I'm to the point now uh, where I'm gonna put some oil in here and get it super hot so that this uh, beef will uh, get seared and we'll lock the flavor in and we'll continue from there and uh, oh last night I managed to put all of the little pot pies into the freezer and check these out these little ziploc bags were able to hold two each and then the other three big ones are in here in the individual individual wrapped containers so that worked out really really good all right out Look at her, she's so Italian. We are actually going to caramelize the meat. We're going to actually... ...really well on all sides, and we're going to do that by making sure we have got the olive oil really nice and hot. I'm just going to wait a couple seconds to get it. It's really hot. It's hot as my baby. Look at Kitty's getting wet just looking at it. Look at this hot shit. Caramelized with it's quieting down now on the heavenly juices. And the veggies go into the meat is removed. Over here, steaming. And then the veggies go into the hot olive oil and meat juice. Oh, look at how colorful. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Alrighty. Some flour we're mixing in. A little thickening agent. We're going to stir it around. We've been stirring it for a couple of minutes. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we're going to add in a little bit of uh, a little bit of red wine. Here. Ooh, that's beautiful. A lot of red wine. Ooh, that's kind of you know that's not going to hurt it at all. Now we have the thickening agent. Now we're getting soupy in the wine sauce. Ooh, this is going to be the best beef stew ever. The tomato paste and then the beef stock. That slows the process a little bit. Slowly getting up into the heavenly juices here. Fantastic. Stir that around a little bit. 
And now we're sprinkling in our herbs. This is very herby. We're heavy on the herbs today. Ooh, but look at that. It's pretty warm. And we're just going to bring that up to a boil. Let's get those in there a little bit first. You can almost smell this, can't you? Ooh. If you were smelling it now, you'd be thinking, I'm starting to get a little hungry. This is looking pretty good. And then, and then we put in our meat. And this is, this is already all caramelized and perfect. Put in there with the oil. Yeah, baby, now we're talking. What's beef stew without the beef, right? Where's the beef? Mm. This is a family show. to look kind of beef stewish, wouldn't you say? Now we're a little runny. I don't think we can fix that. I don't think we got to be alarmed. It's not very stewy. It's more soupy. But that can be cured. I think we're going to let this cook down for a little while now. And all the willy nibble, the willy nilly of the beef juices will mix with the jibble jabble of the wine and the vegetables and the herbs. Oh, mama, we're talking now. Right. Put your lid on, turn it down to low, and let it cook for two and a half hours. And then just cut, you know, check on it, give it a little TLC. But for two and a half hours, you are a free woman. Mm, that's good. What time is it? 6.50. It's almost 7. 8... 9.30? That's two and a half hours. All right. Into the Dutch oven. Ooh, it sounds so final, like closing up the bank vault. Yeah, we'll check on it every so often. Groovy, baby. The waffle mix required a little, an egg, just a little bit of olive oil, and, uh, some uh, soy milk. I just happen to have all of those ingredients handy. Actually, it's almond milk. That's okay. Give it that little nutty flavor. Mix that egg yolk in there. There it goes. Ooh, we are having fun now. Soon this will be golden brown and in my mouth with melted butter and and where are you at, you bitch? There she is. This is Buttersworth. It's not nice to fool Mother Nature. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. It's in. The lid's going down. Ooh, it's sizzling in there. Oh, baby. This is working out beautiful. And we got a few eggs in here. Down on low. Sprinkle a little pepper on there. This is going to be good. Breakfast. Better make some coffee. Is there any more in there? Diane got me this cool Starbucks cup. Come on. Oh, I know what this is like. You feel like you gotta pee and then you can't go. Wait, oh, there's some more. Awesome. Yeah. Come on. I want every drop. Every drop. Come on, let it all out. Let it out. That's a good boy. I'm so proud of you. Oh, that baby's steaming. Look at that. Let's see what it looks like. Is it any good? Oh, it's golden. Look at that. Yeah, baby. It's brown.
down as a bunny. I'm going to get it out of there. Let's see if I can lift it. I'll just get a little persuader to help get the edge started a little bit. Look, it's coming right out. Ooh, perfect. I got it. I'm going to manually transfer it to the eating device. Look at that. A little, little brown on the edges. That's okay. How's those eggs doing? Ooh, they got somebody put pepper on them. There must have been the pepper fairy came while I was making the waffle, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All these new little outdoor campfire Dutch oven let all the deals work. And now you don't have to worry about damaging the Teflon. You can just get right in there with a chisel and a jackhammer, can't you? You don't have to worry. We'll never worry again. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.